Nothing like rowing your way to the middle of a lake and spending an hour out here on a Sunday evening to make you think a little bit. On one hand, we're a country that will spend hundreds of billions of dollars, send military equipment, even covertly send U.S. troops to fight against the evil anti-democratic forces abroad in places like Ukraine against anti-democratic Russia and Vladimir Putin. On the other hand, we're unwilling to take a long, hard look in the mirror ourselves. Imagine if there was another country where there's a democratically elected party in power that then uses police force to arrest its political opponents in the middle of an election. By the way, using a century old law called the Espionage Act that literally was passed to criminalize dissent in the middle of World War I a century ago. Yeah, that's exactly where we are. And by the way, the democratic nation whose sovereignty we're fighting to protect happens to be one that has eliminated 11 opposition parties, has consolidated all media into one state media arm. I'm not defending in any way the actions of autocrats abroad, but what I am saying is that in order to stand with moral authority on the global stage, the first thing we have to do is actually live up to our moral authority and our moral foundations and our principles here at home. I don't think we're doing that right now. It's easier to point the finger at somebody else. It's a lot harder to look in the mirror. And I think the next step to actually set our foreign policy straight, to set our economic policy straight, is to take that long, hard look in the mirror. Ask ourselves who we really are and ask ourselves if the, if the nation we see when we look in the mirror is really the same as the one that we claim to be, is really the same as that nation that we fought a revolution to create. I don't think it is today. I don't think it has to stay that way. I think we can change that. I think it's in our power to do it. But if we're going to change it, we have to recognize where we are first and be honest about that. And I think that honesty is our ticket to actually our future.